good, everybody? This is the one and only GM. And today, I'm going to hit y'all with another one. Y'all been asking me to commentate and get my analysis on this match on the YouTube comments. So, I'm here to do it. We got Arson Ash versus Nee from the TW2 2022 Global Finals. So, I'm going to watch the match and I'm going to critique what's going on. And you're going to get it in like that. So, Let's go straight into the match and see what's right good. Now. I mean, the world has been seeing you. If you follow the Korean scene, you've seen that. All right, so let's, let's, start, let's start this joint. It's going to be yep, Fang Wei versus Kasumi. <laughs> so let's go. Let's go and see what happens in the match. We got the down two. You no know, little jab pressure. Back four with, right? Oh, nice. He sauce up the down four. Oh, he's getting poked up with the back one homing move. A lot of magic four fishing from Arsene Ash. All right, to deal with the pressure. Nice uh, quarter four one right there. Oh, nice duck on the string right there. Nice low poke too. He's fishing for counter hit fours. They're playing real fast. They're playing real fast. Oh, nice home move there. Wow, he, he four four three them right out of one plus two. they playing real fast right now. Nice down back three. Oh, he got him on the wall. Damn, he tried to mix him up. Yeah, that was pretty predictable. He probably should have did a mid, a hop kick. Nice one, nice side set one two. It's a lot of pressure right now. A lot, a lot of pressure right now. Jab, jab. They playing really, really fast. They're not even slowing down. While he ducked because he thought the low was coming. He messed up the combo. While he one one two, a lot of the four one plus two. Nice, nice side walk on that. Back four. Yeah, they're missing. They're playing real fast. I'm not really... I think they're kind of flow charting right now, honestly, because it's playing so so fast. Yeah, knee is up. Back one jabs, back four. Down forward one, one, two. Nice to get him from sidewalking, tracked him. He armor moved him right there. Wow, nice whiff punish. Wow, he one plus two to run out of the jab pressure after the plus frames. Yeah, they... He's jab, sidestep, duck. Oh, he got counter hit. It's so fast, this match. It's play playing so fast. Nice low poke. Wow, he flew back to avoid. Yeah, he tried to mix him up. So, knee is up two rounds. Yeah, they playing really, really fast. Down for one. There's a lot of up-close pressure. They're not really trying to let any of themselves or each other uh, get any type of room to think. Big Mirage, a lot of pressure, a lot of pokes, spacing, a lot of auto ducks, too. You see the fuzzy garden? Nice. That was the right punish, but that move is minus 14 from certain ranges, so you got to be careful. Nice. Damn, that's a nice low poke there. Nice spacing, too. I've never seen a Feng player do that. Wow. The counter hit um, knockdown low from back turn. That's it. Wow, now he closed it out. Yeah. That match was pretty fast, but it looked like it could have gone in anybody's in anybody's um corner pretty much. It was really fast that match. It seemed like neither didn't really want to give him too much time to think. It was really fast. Um it could have gone either way, honestly. They were being so aggressive that that first match seemed like a coin toss, like anybody could have won because of how aggressive both of them. They were both they were both playing super fast. Oh now there's no walls. Arson he always picks no walls when he loses a game, I notice. He always picks no goes straight to no walls. Alright, so we back Fang Wei versus Kasumi. Nice while well, staying one, nice one and one. Nice low poke. Yeah, he's just checking him, checking him with while well, staying ones. See the fuzzy guard in a bit. Nice back four. Nice. Nice with punish on the while standing one. A lot of jab, jab, jab to deal with the pressure. Nice, nice space out with the down four four. See, he keeps keeps doing while standing one to check him, and he floated him out with the while standing one to get him to stand. A lot of up close pressure, a lot of pokes, jab, jab, jab. Oh, he tried a one plus two his jabs. Lucky that I missed. He almost had it for sure. Wow, he should have let that go. Wow, he four four three them out of quarter four, quarter four um one. 
Nah, that was mad. Yeah, they playing too fast, too, too fast. I don't even know why he did that quarter for one. It's kind of uncharacteristic the way they playing, honestly. Maybe they both really tired, but they bring really aggressive. That was a nice duck on the jabs. A lot of jabs, a lot of, he's, yeah, he fuzzy guarding to avoid the, the highs and the down back four. Nice one, two. A lot of spacing, down four. Wow, he tried to do something. Nice armor. Yeah, he's being really aggressive. Nice keep out low. They're trying to condition each other right now, trying to wait a little bit. 4 4 2. Oh, no whiff punish there. Why stay at one? No whiff? Wow, it's a lot of whiffing. He's cross dashing his face a lot. It's a lot of whiffing right now. Yeah, these players are definitely exhausted. I could tell. They both whiffing a lot, a lot of mashing. You could tell. You could tell. Wow, that was a nice block. That was a really nice block, yeah. But they playing, they whiffing a lot of stuff, uncharacteristic. Nice down back three, and he's pretty playing pretty unsafe too. Nice side step on the jabs. Nice magic ball. Yeah, he's really trying to duck all the jabs. Yeah, that's a big nerf with that one plus two that is knocked down. Damn, a lot of back ones. Oh, wow. A nice low parry on the low. Damn, wow. Yeah, it worked because the last time he went mid, it makes sense. Wow. He finished. He keeps, he keeps bashing back after blocking stuff. Neat. Yeah, I think it's a wrap for Need this game. Yeah, that double down back three, that's a that's a faint wave flow chart to do down back three, down back three. He's playing kind of desperate. A lot of lows. I think Arsenal is looking for the lows now. A lot of lows. He's being like a super aggro. Like that quarter four one was unnecessary. He got hit out of it. Magic fours will be pretty good. I think a couple of counter hit setups here and there. Because how aggro both of them playing. I think counter hits will really be really good in the set. So let, let's go to it. It's really a, a really aggressive match. Wow, size up into home. Then he whiffed the stomp. He is really uncharacteristic. A lot of these mi mis mistakes he's making. Me. 4 4 2. Nice spacing. He whiffed again. He could have got shouldered there, but he ducked the standing four. But yeah, there's a lot of chipping. A lot of lows. Like I said, a lot of lows to open up. You see? A lot of lows. Damn, double lows. Yeah, he's just getting chipped up. He's getting opened up. Like, Kasumi's not the best character, but what's good about her at high level is that her pokes are really safe. So you can open somebody up safely. And that's one of the hardest things to do in Tekken 7. Because a lot of characters' chip pokes are pretty unsafe. But yeah, he's getting opened up. Nice, nice low parry. And yeah, he's getting opened up defensively. He needs to do more keep out. Or like some counter hit stuff. He won't get um opened up like that. That's where the mind is spun. Oh my god, he was ready to block too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's up on the life lead. Wow, I don't know why he did Kempo there. But that was a good read on Arslan to do that running too. Wow, you gotta be careful. Yeah, he's ducking a lot of his jabs too. He should have took the plus frames right there. You gotta be careful now because Arslan is in rage right now. Oh, he spent it. Wow, he has to be careful cross dashing in somebody's face like that. He could have got definitely launched. Wow, he got hit with that too. Yeah, he's playing too defensive with Fang. More keep out, more counter his stuff. And Arsenal is ducking a lot of uh, highs. He's just opening him up. He's outplaying him on the floor. Yeah, no throw break. 
Oh, wow, that was smart. Yeah. Yeah, he's ducking a lot of his highs. He's pressuring him and then ducking after he's pressuring him. That's what Arsenal is doing. Pressure, duck. To avoid the highs and the lows. That's what he's doing. And and knee is like going back too much with highs and lows. See? He pressuring him, then ducking the highs. It's smart because Kasumi don't really got high crushes like that. Well, that's a, that's a wrap. Yeah, that's it. The hard read. The hard read down back. Down forward one though. Yeah, that was rough, man. He was playing really uncharacteristic. And um, our song was really, uh, really, really aggressive in that set. Both of them were really, really aggressive. Kasumi, you got to play her like that, though. She's an up-close-in-your-face character. But I feel like Faye, you could, like, could do both right you could play very offensive or you could play defensive i think knee was just a bit too aggro with the jabs and the lows and our song was pretty much chipping him up while also ducking his highs and his lows and stuff while chipping him up and i think knee kind of used highs and lows a bit too much and um wasn't wasn't like spacing enough and and playing too defensive to the point that he was getting opened up too much while Arson wasn't really giving him a chance to open him up. He could have done more quarter forward one plus twos. You know, the headbutt, maybe single down forward ones a little bit more. Instead of high, low pressure too much. So it was a lot of mistakes that he made. And um, Arson, uh took advantage of it. So shout out to Arson Ash for winning that set. And yeah, that would be my analysis for the match, man. It was a very aggressive match. and went by very, very fast. It seems like both of those players just wanted the match to be over with. But it was a great match. So um, if you guys want me to commentate different sets of different tournament matches, uh, be sure to post in the comments and tell me. And also like the video. And follow me on all my socials. Follow me on Twitch, FindGM underscore Tekken. We're close to 9K followers, so go do that. Um, follow me on TikTok, which is also FindGM. Instagram, FindGM. All my socials, FindGM. Even my Twitter is FindGM. And also check out my new podcast video that's out. With Real Noodle is Meets Out Cafe. And um, I got another, I got another episode coming out this week, so be on the lookout for that. In future episodes, I'm gonna have some very special guests on my podcast. So be sure to like all my content, content, subscribe, and like. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and take care. And thanks for liking my content. Peace out.